guys okay so I found this wonderful article online and I could so totally relate to it because this helped me a lot and this is a fertility video and I want to share it with you ladies because I haven't made one of these in a while and this is something that worked for me helped me and I can't stress it enough and I found an, a wonderful article online and I want to read it to you guys and share some of my personal experience with it and it's called can juicing boost fertility okay so fruits and vegetables contain powerful nutrients to promote health and wellness but what about fertility good news for anyone trying to conceive there is mounting data suggesting that for both moms and dads eating a healthy plant-based diet can help to boost the chance of getting pregnant Infertility is common with 10% of women, that's 6.1 million, in the U.S. experiencing difficulty with conception. As of 2006, more than 3 million babies were born worldwide using IVF, or in vitro fertilization. Recent studies show that for couples undergoing IVF treatments following a plant-based Mediterranean diet, may help improve chances for successful conception by as much as 65% increased likelihood. The Mediterranean diet is, is characterized by a high intake of minimally processed fruits, vegetables, legumes, and fish. The Mediterranean style diet may also help to reduce the risk of gestational diabetes, preterm births, and improve infertility associated with ovulation ish issues replacing animal proteins in the diet with plant-based proteins can reduce the risk of infertility by 50 percent some women have trouble conceiving because of polycystic ovary syndrome in other words pcos a common hormonal condition that can also make losing weight a tremendous challenge my colleague hillary hillary wright has written an excellent book on this subject, The PCOS Diet Plan, which shows how eating lower glycemic carbohydrates and more fruits and vegetables can help manage this condition, promote weight loss, and boost chances for fertility. Um, if you guys look back on some of my videos, I did post a video a while back on a PCOS diet, so you guys might wanna check out that video for um, more ideas and information. Having a healthy weight is important for increasing your chances of getting pregnant with a body mass index between 20 to 24 as optimal. The body's hormonal cycles and ovulation can be disrupted if weight is too low or too high. One reason is that excess weight can lead to insulin resistance and reduce IVF effectiveness in women while it can lead to lower testosterone levels and sperm production in men. It's important to note that if you are overweight, a five to 10% weight loss can greatly improve fertility chances, even if your BMI is still above the optimal range of 20 to 24. And I could definitely attest to this because when I did my diet and I started juicing and getting healthy to get pregnant with baby Jacob, I only had to lose in three months, 16 pounds I lost. And those 16 pounds made such a difference that I was able to have a successful pregnancy. So it definitely does make a difference. Eating and drinking more plants may not only help women improve their ability to conceive, but also may boost the fertility potential in men. One study found that 83% of infertile men interviewed had low intakes of fruits and veggies, while only 40% of fertile men ate less than the recommended five plus servings per day. <clears throat> men who ate the least amount of produce had the slowest sperm the authors attributed sperm speed to antioxidant intake in the diet colorful fruits and vegetables naturally contain high levels of antioxidants including berries apples kale spinach cabbage and tea I would always use kale in all my juicing. Whatever I mix in the juices with the fruits and vegetables, I always made sure to have kale because kale is a wonderful antioxidant. Uh, okay, fruits, vegetables, and other plant foods have 
also have anti-inflammatory actions which could help reduce insulin insulin resistance which is associated with both diabetes and infertility healthy fats found in avocado olive oil flax oil and ground seeds also contain potent anti-inflammatory compounds folate is another important nutrient for fertility in men and women and during pregnancy good sources of folate include dark green leafies like kale spinach swiss chard silver beet collard mustard and turnip greens broccoli asparagus sweet potatoes oranges and avocado now all this obviously folate is folic acid so you could simply consume your folic acid by taking a little pill a, a little supplement of folic acid that already comes in a bottle if you don't want to go through all this hassle of making sure that you have all these ingredients in your diet and stuff like that that's what i would do not only would i take my prenatal vitamins to get my body ready for pregnancy but i would also on the side take folic a little extra folic acid so that helped a lot too folic acid is awesome we have heard some amazing stories from quite a few rebooters who found themselves pregnant while drinking lots of juice and eating more veggies many of these women had been trying for years to conceive do you think juicing or rebooting helped you get pregnant yes i definitely do think that juicing no i don't think i know that juicing helped me get pregnant changing my eating habits cutting carbs and sugars taking maca root, taking prenatal vitamins, folic acid, progesterone cream, everything, all this I've shared with you guys before in all my other previous videos on fertility, on what I did to get pregnant, but juicing is awesome, you guys. This article backs it up, what I've been telling you guys all along, the wonderful benefits of juicing, so please look into it because it may be as simple as just some type of nutrient that you're lacking in your diet and that's all you need to have a successful healthy pregnancy so i hope this information helped you guys and i will definitely see you in my next video until next time bye guys bye